another podcast yes this is really and i'm here to share a little bit more about the whole new compensation package that has been proposed and by the looks of it have been accepted uh with a little negotiation by some of the negotiating teams which mean in government and the unions to join all right so let's get a heads up as to what this uh new compensation package is all about now the compensation package uh it refers to a combination of um monetary as well as non-monetary benefits um to govern government employees um in exchange of the work that they do right and currently as it is before the entire deal has been signed between government and uh, the workers within the public sector and by the way for those persons who don't know what public sector is it refers to those persons that are employed to government actually pay them right so how it is right now let's say that you actually get ten dollars for your salary right and that ten dollars that ten dollars right you get that ten dollars for your salary but in addition to that ten dollars you would get uh another two dollars for traveling another uh three dollars for uniform another two dollars for different different things like gas and all that uh, vehicle upkeep so when you add it up you end up you get probably about twenty dollars for your salary so when you are 60 right um and you're gonna retire you're supposed to get uh how is calculated i'm i think i'm not 100 percent versed on this but i think it's about about 25 percent of what you normally get for your salary for your last three months or something like that so therefore if you usually get ten dollars 25 percent of that would be two dollars fifty so that's what you will get as your pension right so looking at it the compensation package the new deal what they would do in jamaica right now the new package what they're going off is that you uh the public sector worker would receive salary one lump sum as salary so you wouldn't get the additional um uh, uh, um i call it that additions to your salary as how it is everything will be combined into what you call a general salary now there are advantages and disadvantages to this so when they combine it whenever you retire the 25 percent which would be your pension would be more but here is a downside of it and some of these benefits that you get actually on the side right in a new package uh we're not taxed and so now that they are added to your general basic salary they are now being taxed so therefore your salary kind of shrink a little bit however so as to compensate for that the government have actually decided to uh, give you a i call it now an increase in salary across the board so going forward if you are near retirement you actually carry home more money more and that more right so the 25 percent would be more right um but there are several concerns that um person like myself do have as far as you know looking at the the package i have not seen the the agreement because that is like kept close to the chest of some persons right but i have not seen everything right but what i can say is that there are two sticking points in which i think concerns me okay so in jamaica you have um, different spaces in which people live um people live in valleys you know really rough terrain and you have persons are being paid for taking the risk of actually going different places to actually work and so you have nurses live in their good good house nice roads right whether they drive or they take taxi and they would actually leave in the hours of the night to go into some spaces where not even taxi run on a regular basis and the road is very bad 
to work in hospitals or clinics or wherever, right? And um, they would actually get an additional sum, different than apart for their salary. And this is usually referred to as location allowance, right? Now, on the New Deal, what will happen, right, is that um, government workers, um, I call it the, the, the public sector workers, this will no longer exist. So, for example, if you are a teacher and you teach in a space where in which, um, it's unpredictable as far as, you know, violence is there crime and violence is there i mean like you'll be in your classroom teaching and gunshot and school over early because you know gang members are actually fighting what you find is that there will be no more incentive for you to be going to these spaces and so if you actually work at a space where this is your experience on a day-to-day -day basis or uh, periodically as it, it might might happen right Instead of going to a space like this, um, you know, you will get an incentive. Let's say you will get an incentive about probably about three dollar or four dollar on the ten dollars, right? The incentive is no longer there. So what do you think will happen? No longer will teacher find it um, uh, within their vested interest, whether the teacher or even the nurse. My mother was a nurse, right? She actually worked within the heart of a volatile area so she actually got the location allowance so as to help to pay up her salary and because of that it, it gave her the incentive to go to work because it added to her salary right the same too with the teaching now when this is actually sub subtracted and um you know you find that they you, you can go to any of the hospitals to work you can go to any of the schools to work right um, but there is no incentive. If I was to choose multiple choice where I would go, I would prefer to go to a space where in which I feel safe. There's safe road, nice transportation, kids are well behaved, and I felt as if, you know, I I just can operate as how I would within a normal space. But without the incentive, yes, you might say that also oh, the, the, the money is, is what they actually work for. No, tell me, unless you're a charity organization, even in charity organization, that the, the staff do get paid. The, the, the underlying notation regarding charity is that charity doesn't work for profit. That doesn't necessarily mean the workers doesn't get paid, right? So you have to get salary so as to take care of you, your family, the space in which you live in. So with the absence of this, what you think happened? With the absence of this, you find that um, a lot of persons are now going to migrate and actually find employment elsewhere because, um, you know, you can actually get employment which pays you more overseas and you can actually acquire all those assets that want to acquire whilst living in Jamaica itself but not being able to do that because of the inability to actually sustain yourself financially. Now, these are some of the nerve-wracking issues that public sector workers have actually been contending with. But note that a lot of public sector workers, they are of the notion that they just want the back money because the back money is, it deals with, um, all right, so these increases, you know, the, the reclassification and all that should have been done um, as of the 1st of April. Now we are in November. Now when they add up all those monies that they should have gotten from April, it seems like a lot. So therefore, if you were supposed to get an additional $2 as your salary, $2 would add up um, from April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. So you get all that as lump sum and then now they start to pay your normal. Now, a lot of persons are gravitating to, hey, I want that lump sum. When you get that lump sum, it looks a lot. But the reality, the reality is when you look through that rear view mirror and the lump sum is actually being spent 
as a result of rising inflation right as a result of demands in finances you find that the extra two dollars that was actually given on the pay uh, regarding the negotiation for the reclassification of public sectors compensation program you find that that two dollars is insufficient and the next negotiation period is some two three years down the line um, picture this currently inflation is about probably about uh, between 10 to 13 percent right it's it's projected to go higher and all of this is based on the reality that oil prices is going up and one oil price once oil prices go up you find that everything actually follows you know production goes up the cost of living goes up in addition to that you have the um the the, the, the chain of supply chain for sub, um, production have been disturbed as a result of the war in ukraine and you know the, the threats and the counter threats that threats that have been going on between um the west and um, those countries over on the other side such as russia china and some middle east countries and uh, along with you know korea and, and and those countries that are always in i call it you now antagonistic mode as far as you know producing and actually trading so there's a, a bungle of, of issues that one needs to look at, right? And in, in actually clasping your brain around the whole, you know, concept of compensation. Uh, one thing I hate is that we tend to look at the now, but we do not look at the trend leading to the future. So as a result of that, we look at the benefits that we're going to get now, but not how long those benefits will actually be benefits, Right? imagine you usually get um some amount of monies for transportation and fuel and clothing and some other little benefits you no longer get that they actually up your salary a little bit they reclassify put you within a space and remember you have a motor vehicle you're paying for you have your house you're paying for you have your kids going to university right with all that compensation actually being reclassified what you find is that you are at a tighter space than where you were originally right although looking at pension years you will be more benefit you you will actually receive more benefit as i explained before but what you find is that some persons they are in such a tight nose that they might not see pension age they might actually die because what use is the pension when you are actually um becoming i call it now um welfare bound when you are becoming you know thrown out of your house at the age of 50 at the age of 60 because you were unable to actually pay your mortgage when you were much younger because of the pension program i mean the, the, the compensation issue right so one looks at this as being bold and stupid as far as the um the, the unions are concerned and some of the, the arguments that are being placed um, on, the, on the table by the unions are valid. Right? While some might say that the money is, would work or good for them right now, as far as you know, um, you know, taking care of some immediate expense, you know, because COVID have actually taken a huge chunk of a lot of individuals, um, you know, earning power. Why is this? public sector but true to be told um a lot of public sector employees had to be cha had to be um balancing the books with other even now why we are actually gradually coming back um you know returning to the norm right you have persons that are actually trying to balance their finances within their home or within their personal space by having two and three jobs right and covid actually decreased the propensity for them to do this now with the covid actually being you know out through the window right and um well when the covid was here it was really difficult financially for a lot right because no longer could you could I, and, and you might say that this is unprofessional or unethical but um some teachers they have to 
be selling pencils and pen and rulers and and stuff at school to the students to actually get the bus fare to go home that's how bad it is um some teachers had to you know do a lot of things um so as to get service on their devices so that they could teach online right some teachers never have a device right uh the government um in the midst of the pandemic promised teachers a matter of fact they promised primary teachers for um that they would actually give them primary and basic teachers basic school what they call kindergarten teachers laptops right now the, the the kindergarten teachers or the basic school teachers have actually gotten their laptops they promise that everybody gonna get right um with regards to um all teachers whether it be primary or basic or secondary they're gonna get the laptop under conditions of course now uh we have actually gone well, september october november and i know that we ain't gonna get it in december four months well three months three to four months and we have not seen any evidence of laptops being distributed in secondary schools right and um you know so so teachers have additional expenses and um the additional expenses are enveloped within mortgages cars kids going to school you know have, we still need the devices to write lesson plans and structure our lessons and other little things that we would need and the whole compensation thing it sounds good but in the long run it's believed that it will bite us at the end it will bite us at the end right now i'm so disappointed in how public sector workers have been treated a matter of fact how teachers have been treated over the years yes we receive a reclassification of our salaries in 2007 but when you look at inflation even inflation have actually eaten out um hedged out um chiseled out erased out eradicate out um most if not all of what we have actually gained over the years when i started to to teach in in um in 1997 right my my my, my salary was my salary was about eighteen thousand dollars, right? And that eighteen thousand dollars, I'm I'm talking about getting bread for under a hundred dollars, a loaf of bread for under hundred dollars, right? A liter of gas at the gas station was about twenty something dollars, right? And uh, buying a ticket to to travel for vacation, you're talking about less than twenty five thousand dollars, right? And today, fast forward everything have actually superseded the salary which you actually get right when you're talking about um persons earning um be you're unable to actually um manage right and then now they're going to take away the benefits they're going to take about away these little things that help to build your oh oh before i end before i end right so um as it relates to teaching right because i'm in teaching right as it relates to teaching now a part of the compensation package uh, for teachers is that normally you have a scale of one to about 11 10 11 right so it depends on when you enter into teaching you would actually be placed on a scale and when you're at the end of the scale you have three chances of seniority in which you apply for so it gives you an extra nine years after that you actually stay there until you actually retire right so um underneath the new compensation program all that will no it won't exist anymore i'm not privy to the entire details because i'm not fully read on the whole dynamics of that but what i've learned so far right is that that will no longer exist you will actually be getting one salary right uh and and it, it, it the, the whole idea of um let's say that you are you you usually get like say monies for being like within a supervisory role versus like being in a junior role um the, the difference would be minute in comparison to as it is right now so one is led being led to believe that it's practically better to be um i call it now 
that person that is being supervised and the supervisor because it, now you're being you know but anyway as i said before i'm not well read on that so i'm not gonna really comment um exclusively or should i say pointedly on this topic but the emphasis right now is the whole compensation package um does it actually benefit public sector workers as is in its form right now and as far as i see it right the compensation package in jamaica in which is being offered to public sector workers it seek to benefit the government more than it seeks to benefit the workers than themselves however as a result of rapid rise in inflation in jamaica a lot of public sector workers are actually yearning for a salary increase thus they will grab at anything which looks more than what they normally get but in comparative to what they would actually bargain for as a salary increase that is woe fully low right in addition um in 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 in, in, in last financial year in jamaica um all public sector workers got a menial i think it was our four percent in salary increase yeah i think it's four percent salary increase right with the intention that the review compensation package will actually take care of the additional years right so what you're finding is that there's a uh imbalance between the rate of inflation versus what we actually receive for our increase from last financial year we got four percent but yet still inflation was like hinging to the ten percent from last year all right and now it's at 13 percent right so when you check it and, and they want to give us 17 percent um increase so when you check that that um the the 13 percent right plus the um when you check the 18 percent inflation for this financial year plus the inflation for for last year which was about nearly 20 some i'm oh, sorry 10 10 10 11 percent right that give rise to roughly about 25 percent inflation within uh roughly two years however the salary um increase would be roughly 17 percent thus as a result we would end up public sector workers end up facing a deficit or somewhere near the region of between seven and eight percent if you do the economics you will realize that we're practically in the same hole it's just that we have um some amount of monies that seems to be coming in or added to our basic salary right now however when you check the logics as far as the the the, the, the tax is going to actually reduce the sum that they actually take out plus inflation will actually reduce all of that um additionally right you find that you're back at square one you are just not being benefited right it's it just doesn't make sense right one of the leading factors which actually encourage a lot of persons in jamaica teachers like myself to actually migrate to different spaces such as um united states canada england um the middle east yes the middle east to actually teach is the amount of monies that are being earned now um one thing that is going for jamaican teachers is that um in countries in spaces such as england and, and, and in north america right teachers are actually walking away from the job because uh too much demands are being placed on teachers right however because teachers in jamaica are you know hoping that they would actually get some amount of money in um in comparison to what they would get out here they are actually saying that hey listen i am gonna take it and i'm gonna you know do the contract work for two years and uh return home and build my house buy my car and kind of try to live nice right um it it might seem beneficial but in the long run the long run they are just being used because when you check the logics you you probably might end up have a j1 um to work and then you end up with an h1 h2 to work and um after a while if the contract is not resigned you practically end up back home and you're back in the system so you actually develop a life from over there to live in a certain standard but when you're back here much older you have broken your service you're here um 
what makes it hard is that some persons who have actually migrated to teach overseas i'm kind of going off on a tangent here but see with me some persons have actually migrated overseas to, to teach um they, they, they just merely did probably about two or three years in the classroom in jamaica and then they migrate so you know that they break the service and you know that they have not worked that 12.5 years so as to receive a pension so they spend all of their life over there on contract that means they have not been contributing to a pension system so when they do return like in their 40s or in their probably in their 50s although in jamaica right now um the year for pension is has increased from 60 to 65 right um at the age of 50 you are practically relearning retooling restructuring your framework at 50 you know to actually go back into a jamaican classroom now tell me if that's practical because you know with all those fights that's going on with all those change changes that is being propagated by the jtc and the government and the stakeholders you're gonna find a little bit more troubling actually returning to actually go return in the classroom right so it's 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 a little it's a bubble there that when it bursts ah you leave a stench right so the choice is yours a lot of persons actually migrate to these places to work because the benefits are more you know you, you get more money but at the same time you don't get much benefit right? you get more money for your salary so there's no pension payment there's no you know there's nothing to get after you have actually finished your time teaching there yeah that's it you get the money so instead of being paid like for example you'll be paid like three thousand euros a month or four thousand euros a month that's a contract money right but if you're like permanently employed to a space um you probably might get probably about uh three five and the other five would be like contributing to your pension so even at the end of that period you all those money is come uh, accumulated and you know being invested in some some something something and you know at least you look forward to a little pension you can actually return to jamaica and kick back and relax and receive that when you are 60 and you know moving on it's a ticklish 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 discussion guys ticklish discussion but right now as i see there's nothing that i can do because when the government is headstrong about doing something regardless of all the stakeholders meeting regardless of all the the parli parliament committee meetings regardless of all the demonstration or petition or you know the, the, the hard line stance taken by the jta or by the jamaica civil servant service uh, um uh, uh unions uh, you're gonna find that it's still gonna happen anyway it's just that it might be delayed for a while but it's still gonna happen so just have to adjust yourself guys and know that it's coming and your finance your finance get messed up the word that i want to use i can't use it because of you know certain certain language that is being you know certain language but i, I can't use that word but i can tell you things are not we're going to be looking up for public sector workers let's say the next two years when they realize that some of the benefits that they now want to get they no longer get thank you for listening to me ramble for roughly um 29 minutes i appreciate you there guys um leave a comment in the comment section below thank you very much respect bye bye catch you next time